One of the goals of this video is to not have any hair ASMR. So hopefully my hair stays away from the microphone. Hi, welcome back to my recaps. Usually I put two episodes in one video, but there's so much going on in this last episode that I decided to dedicate an entire video to just one episode. We start off with the girls kind of warning Alexandra to be wary of Dylan because of what he said that was revealed during the challenge that he was open to meeting other people. And I find that a little bit hypocritical since we also heard Zach not mention, or I guess we didn't hear him mention that he had a girlfriend to the new girls. And he also wasn't saying that he wasn't open to meeting new people. So it's not like he was the, it's not like Dylan was the only one who was open to meeting new people. He just said that exact phrase that came back in the challenge. So I don't think it's that much of a big deal as the girls are making it out to be. I also thought Dylan's conversation with Alexandra was good as well. It would be a lot shadier if he made Alexandra his girlfriend like Jordan on Love Island UK and then decided to start talking to other girls. And he was leaving it open for both of them to get to know new people. So I think there's nothing wrong with that, especially if they just keep an open dialogue and conversation about it. We didn't really have a challenge this episode. We had the little yoga activity, but it didn't feel like a full challenge. My only notes there were that Yemen and Asada were very good at the yoga from what I could tell, and Katrina's yoga bear comment was cute and funny. A little bit later, we get to Kelsey and Weston on a date. And so far these dates are so much better than the Love Island UK dates that I've seen. Most of the Love Island UK dates, they're just eating in a different part of the villa, it seems like, with a little bit fancier clothes and some fancy decor. But it kind of just seems like they're in the same place, just somewhere else in the villa eating semi-fancy food. And this was a full spa treatment, it looked like. It looked very legit it looked cool i wanted to be there back at the villa after the date we see that ariel is coming back into the villa to make an announcement that there has been some voting going on some couples are safe and some couples are not we hear the safe couples are weston and kelsey Ray and Kara, which I was really happy about, and that's who I voted for. I was really worried they wouldn't be because Kara's been in the bottom before, but glad they weren't. Alexandra and Dylan are safe. And one more couple, Zach and Elizabeth. I personally think Zach and Elizabeth got the most votes, but I think they were purposely put last to kind of make them sweat and make them feel like they were at risk. They didn't say there was a particular order to the votes and to wh when they announced certain couples. So in my mind, they probably were first from just what I've seen of the support and on social media what I've seen from everyone. I really think they did get the most votes. I think they were just announced last for dramatic effect and also to make them feel less secure. So that leaves the couples that are not safe are Kira and Eric. Cashel and Katrina, and Yemen and Asada. And I got two out of the three correct. I thought Caro and Ray were going to be in the bottom over Kira and Eric because I know that Eric has had a lot of support, but I also know on the flip side, a lot of people are not big fans of Kira, so it doesn't surprise me. It could have been either Kira and her boy or Caro and her boy because I've seen a lot of hate for both Kira and Caro. So it doesn't surprise me that Kira was in the bottom. And like I said in the last recap, it usually comes down to the Islanders to have to vote off someone. So then the Islanders and their couples decided who to vote for. We saw little conversations going on. Maybe it would be Kira and Eric. Maybe it would be Yemen and Asada because of what he did to Alana. Um, maybe Cashel and Katrina, but you don't hear that as much. But then it ends up, everyone ends up voting Cashel and Katrina off. They even had Zach and Elizabeth announce their vote, even though it was already clear it was going to be Cashel and Katrina at that point. I'm not sure why, maybe just for dramatics, but it wouldn't have made sense if they voted for anyone else at that point because that would have just 
been more drama than necessary if they had voted for someone else. So of course they weren't going to say someone else's name at that point, even if they wanted to vote for someone else. We didn't really get too much reasoning behind the votes. Weston was the only person who had some sort of reason for voting for Cashel and Katrina and either my TV cut out the reasons of the other people or they didn't say anything about why they voted for them. So at the end, Cashel and Katrina, who were in a non-romantic couple, ended up having to leave. We really see a lot of emotion from everyone, but what stands out is that we see the most emotion from Kira that we've seen thus far. Cashel gives her a guitar necklace of some sort. I wasn't sure if it was a guitar pick or exactly what. I know it was guitar related though. And we see that she's breaking down crying, really upset after Cashel leaves. She talks about how much he meant to her, how they started the journey together, and that she loves him. But I'm still not feeling like she has any romantic feelings towards him. She just, he was kind of her safety blanket in a way, and she got really comfortable with him. She really cared for him as a person, but I don't think there ever would have been a romantic connection there. I don't know how Eric is going to feel about Kira's emotions for Cashel right now or going forward. He was comforting her, but he also seemed a little bit uncomfortable in the situation, so we'll have to see how Cashel leaving affects Kira and Eric's relationship. So that is it for now. It's Friday, so I'm assuming we won't have another episode until Monday. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and my recap so far. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check them out. And I will see you the next episode of Love Island.